Hey guys, we're doing some factoring. I am gonna go really quick in this video. If you need more details and more examples, I have a video linked over there for you. Also, if you are doing pro problems, <clears throat> problems where there's no number out here or it's technically a one, those ones you do a little bit differently. So I've also got video, <laughs> a video linked over there for that. Also, if you want to try the box way for this, I've got it over there too. If you're like, what the crap are you talking about? Just get going. I'm going to change videos. Please don't keep watching. Okay. How do we factor this when there's a number here? Okay. First of all, what you always, always, always want to do, make sure you factor out the GCF. If there is one, it could potentially totally take this away. So this one, I noticed they were all even. So I pulled a two out. Then there's not even a number in front of the X squared to factor this. Okay. But in this example, there is no GCF. There's nothing for me to pull out. So now what? Okay, remember what we're looking for is two parentheses that multiply to each other to give me that, right? Now, the first part is just like you've been doing when there's not a number here. You take this number here, multiply it by the one in front of the X squared, which gives me negative 18. Now I'm looking for the number that multiplies to negative 18 and adds to negative 17. You might already have it. We've got the factors are one and 18, two and nine and three and six. For it to be negative, I need one of these to be negative in each of the pairs. So if I do a one times a negative 18, that gives me negative 18 when I multiply and it gives me negative 17 when I add, okay? Now, if this three weren't here, I would just write one and negative 18 and be done, right? But I have that three here. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna put the three with both of them, okay? So I'm gonna put three X plus one from here. And I'm gonna put three X minus 18 here, okay? Now, I want to be done, but I put in an extra three, right? I put in two. There should only be one. So I need to pull it from one of these. So um, sometimes you'll just be able to pull it from one, like right now. I noticed that 18 is divisible by three. So I'm going to divide my extra three out there. If it isn't going into one of them evenly, um, you can split the number three isn't a great example, but like if you had a six you needed to pull out, you can pull a two from one of them, a three from the other one if needed. But here I'm just going to pull this three out here. So I'm taking out my extra three. So this side is still three X plus one. This one makes sure you pull it from both of them, right? So there they cancel. 18, negative 18 divided by three gives me six. And that is our answer. You can always, always, always multiply it out to make sure that you get this. If you are asked to solve, so this is if you're just asked to factor. If you are asked to solve, remember this is equal to zero. So you just set each of these equal to zero. Three X plus one equals zero x minus 6 equals 0, which will give you x equals negative 1 third and x equals 6. All right. And that is that. Hopefully you can get your homework done and go to bed and have dreams of math that are nightmares.